Hello and welcome back to Learning and Technology. I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about an application that runs on the iPad that will provide me with access to academic journals and the abstracts of various articles contained within. So we know that there's different types of information that I can find online and we know that there's a big difference between sort of public uh, information that's just provided as is and more peer-reviewed scholarly journals. So can we use our iPad to do more academic type of research? And the answer is of course yes. And I'm going to show you this application that just makes that process that much easier. When we're looking for information, it's nice to get information from academic journals and peer-reviewed journals that have gone through a bit more of a rigorous process for vetting the information in there. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into the App Store and I actually do a search here on Researcher Academic Journals. This is the application that I'm going to use. You can see I've already installed it so I can just click Open. And when I go there, let's just pop over, let's close what I was working on here and let's go into my feed. And actually, let's close my feed and let's go into my home here. So you can see all of the different journals that I subscribe to. So there's a lot in here. And, you know, I do a lot of reading, but I do not read all of these journals every month. That's crazy. But what it does do is it gives me access to just browse through and say, oh, I want to look at maybe this, this article here. You can see a day ago there was an article in Teaching Statistics. <clears throat> on using STEM, you know, whatever, you have the article title in there as well. You can see up top here that about 8.89% of this particular journal is open access. If I go and go close this down, I can actually search for particular topics that I might be interested in. It'll give me a list of trending. So you can see some of the trending articles in there. That are, that are happening right now. If I go in and search for particular papers, maybe I can do something like, oh, let's do remote teaching. So I'll do see if there's any articles out there on remote teaching. So I go into remote teaching and you can see that I've got learning and technology. I've got different articles that I've obviously searched for and I cleaned up my iPad recently so you, you don't see too much of a history here. But you can see different articles in here and you can say, okay, uh, you know, what's happening here in terms of different articles. So there's the Journal of Lifelong Education. So I can go in there, gives me an abstract on this particular journal. Interesting, I can go down below here and go full text on here. And it brings me to their website where it gives me the abstract and additional information on here. Notice that I can log in if I have access to the journal. I can purchase the journal, but normally what's going to happen is I will go in and have an academic journal subscribed to by my library. So rather than go in and purchase this for $44 for 24 hours, you can see that these are really insti aimed at institutional subscriptions. But what I can do, I'll say done here, is I can copy the DOI of this article and then what I can do is bring that into the website of the library, the university library, public library, or whatever institutional library that I have access to, and if they have a subscription to this journal, then I can read that article. Uh, one of the things that we can also do is contact our librarians. They are super helpful people. So if you have a DOI for an article that you're looking for, they can very often get that article for you because that's really actually a big part of their job is to connect you with uh, legitimate resources of information. So um, I can go in and I can bookmark articles. So let's say, for example, I go into, let's go and scroll into, let's say, learning and technology, right? Or learning technology, kind of a, a good article here. And if I go through, I can just sort of get some abstracts on here, tracking the public's opinion of online education. Hey, this actually, you know what? I'm actually interested in this article. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna hit a bookmark on that. So now that's part of a bookmark so I can come back here. And if I go in, it gives me an abstract on what that particular uh, article is about. And I can go in and copy the DOI on that. And now I can go out. I can even see maybe it's available as full text. Although I think this particular um, journal does not have a lot of it available for open consumption. You might have to go in and log in with your, your access. So I can buy online access as an individual. That can get very expensive very quickly. 
or I can go in and take that DOI that I just copied, go to my library homepage and see whether or not I can access it through my library. And if I can't, then I will contact my librarian and say, hey, I would like to read this article. And you'd be surprised at how quickly most librarians will get back to you and say, yep, here's a link. You can read this article. We've either downloaded the PDF for you or we have access to it now because you've requested. So I hope that was useful. This was a bit more of an academic kind of demonstration here where I was talking a lot more. Go back to my feed here. Um, I was talking a lot more here about academic type research, but you know, it's good for everybody to have a mechanism where you can go in and you can, can access um, legitimate peer reviewed journals. The other way that you can search for these if you're in a web based environment is instead of going into Google to search for information, type in Google Scholar. And that's a, that's a great website as well. Maybe I'll do a video on that one later on, but effectively that's a web-based way of locating these articles as well. I just like it on my iPad because I can quickly, while I'm doing something uh, else, I can just sort of browse through, look at different abstracts of articles, and then uh, put those onto my reading list of neat articles that I like to read. So hopefully this was a useful video. If it was, hit the like button, comment down below on your favorite academic research tools, and I'll be doing more videos on more of them as, uh, as I do more.